Today I'd like to show you our sweet potato salad. Uh, what I've done is I've taken three pounds of sweet potato. Uh, make sure you get some nice ones that don't have bruises or blemishes. You want really nice ones, nice shapes to them. I peel them and I'm dicing them to a dice of about one inch this size here. Now what I've done with this is I've taken my olive oil. I just put the olive oil completely over top just to coat it. A little bit of salt for sure. And I actually put cinnamon. It gives a really nice flavor with the sweet potato. It's just a perfect match. And about a tablespoon of cinnamon, sprinkle it on top, salt and pepper, and that gets popped into the oven. Now it's really just for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. Component number two of this salad is your papadas or your pumpkin seeds. What I'm doing with that is I've got some egg whites that I've whipped up here. I and I've only, I'm using this just so that the ingredients are going to adhere. The pumpkin seeds go right in. And then because the sweet potato has such a sweetness to it, I want to offset it. So I'm putting about maybe even a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Seems like a lot, but those sweet potatoes are pretty sweet. And then I'm just touching it up with some salt. I'm not putting pepper in this part here, not at all. Give it a good coating. And that's going to go onto a cookie sheet and it's going to follow right into the oven right behind the sweet potatoes. So make sure you do the sweet potato first because that's 20 minutes, right? This part here is only 10 minutes. So you're going in the same 350 degree oven for the 10 minutes. Spread this out. Pop it in. They're cooking. Let's get the rest of the salad on go. What I have is one bunch of green onions. I like the green onions in the salad. Uh, just the crunch for it, even the, the flavor is much better than your Spanish onion or your red onion. Uh, and plus, again, I always leave the eye eats first, big thing for me, and I really do like uh, the green to offset the uh, sweet potatoes, the color of the sweet potatoes, orange, red. Uh, real nice fall color dish this one is. Um, and I'm calling this a salad, by the way. Uh, it is our sweet potato salad, but it is equally delicious if you uh, heat it and have it hot. Uh, the pepper, I'm just taking a red pepper, and the red pepper I am going for flavor here. Uh, also for the crunch. So I got a nice about half inch chop that I'm doing on this one. We've got the green onions there. Pretty simple dish. Once the pumpkin seeds come out of the oven, this is what they look like. They're nice and crunchy. The coating from the egg white gives it a real nice crispness to it and they got a nice bit of heat with that cayenne pepper. It's just like really hot on its own but going in it's going to balance itself out, believe me. Okay, so sweet potatoes have come out of the oven. In they go. Now look at all the flavors going in here and all the textures. Our dressing, one cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of organic honey going in. And it, it's kind of cool to use the honey over the sugar, by the way. Uh, it breaks down way quicker, way, way quicker than it would with the sugar when you're blending it. I'm going to put one heaping teaspoon this time into the dressing with Dijon mustard. I prefer the greenery personally. Lemon, putting lemon juice in here. It's gonna cut the sweetness. It's kind of funny because I keep going back and forth with my flavors, so I want the sweet, but then I, it's too sweet, so give me the citrus to cut it out. Uh, it all balances itself out when it's all said and done. Okay, I'm just gonna give this a blend. Oh, one last thing I forgot is our cider vinegar. Again, cider vinegar, my choice. Uh, use red wine vinegar if you choose. <laughs> flavors, whatever you want. Here's the end of it. Now, I've made a lot of dressing. The dressing will hold in your fridge easily for a month. I'm only doing enough to coat it. When this comes out of the oven, I like to mix the dressing immediately. One of the reasons being is those potatoes become like a sponge and all the flavor of the dressing goes right into the potato. So just give it a nice toss and this is what you got. This is a beautiful sweet potato salad. You guys love it. I know you buy so much of it. Now you can make it yourself if you choose to.